A sun-splashed September afternoon here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as we are happy to bring you coverage of the inaugural Las Vegas Pickleball Open here at the Plaza Hotel and Casino at 1 Main Street, Las Vegas. Hey, everybody, welcome to Las Vegas State Vents. Hanging out with Melissa McCur McCurley and Mark Rennison. And uh, guys, we're excited to be here and be a part of this tournament as pickleball continues to grow and yet another major tournament added to the schedule. Oh, absolutely. It's been a great week. We started with an amateur event the first part of the week and then are going on with the pros today. Mark, uh, you've seen this sport really grow and to see a, a tournament like this with a large purse for the pros, it really is impressive. What a thrill. This is one of the richest pickleball tournaments in the sport right now. And so to come to such a beautiful place in Las Vegas here at the Plaza Hotel is a real treat for spectators and players. Yeah, this, the purse of $25,000 vaults it right to the top of pickleball tournaments that are being played around the country right now. Over 300 players, not just from the United States, but four countries represented in this tournament here. We are excited to get the coverage underway. Let's play some pickleball here in Sin City. Don't go anywhere. Live action coming your way next. Welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. Sin City, where pickleball takes its place amongst some of the biggest sports to have dotted the Las Vegas sports scene over the years. It's been a long time coming and we are happy to be a part of it. We are officially underway here in the women's senior division doubles. And you can call it the semifinals, you can call it the winner's bracket final, if you will. Melissa McCurley, you say that either is appropriate. Either is fine. You'll hear people reference both ways. So either way, it's, it's uh, not, not incorrect. We've had some people here watching the live stream coming in saying, hey, I thought it was the winner's bracket final instead of the semifinals. Yeah. And it's, you, know uh, how, you know how I like to think of it? If you win, you go to the gold medal match. Right, there you go. And if you lose, you go to the opportunity bracket. Right, and still have a chance to come back, so. In any case, Kim Jade of Palm Desert, California, along with Vivian Edwards, they are in the far court. Lisa Namu and Yaz Stefanovic in the near court. Yep, all, all ladies from California with the exception of Vivian out of Colorado. Lisa Namu, the reigning champion, women's senior open doubles champion, champion with Gigi Lamaster. Uh, Gigi couldn't be here this weekend. She was out doing clinics out on the East Coast, so certainly miss her being here. Look at that last exchange as Stefanovic was unable to catch up with it, but then Namu answers right back. So 0, zero 2 here in the early going. It's our fourth broadcast of the day here on our Facebook live stream, and we've yet to have a match go to a third game. We haven't, so maybe we'll see something different here. There's uh, some really even matches here. I think Lisa and Kim... I certainly have a bit of edge on experience, but Vivian and Yaz, certainly outstanding players, can can definitely be able to hold their own here. And then see, Kim's looking up into the sun, so that sun has continued to creep in more onto the courts, and so there's an advantage here. It'll be interesting if Lisa and Yaz see it, and that advantage is being able to put the ball up high where Kim can't see it. Kim Jade there in the red on the far court. And Kim unable to catch up with that return. So another point here for the Namu Stefanovic tandem. 2-0-1. And Edwards with the return. Edwards coming off a bronze in the singles side of things at the Tournament of Champions recently. Yeah, that was at the end of August in Brigham City, Utah. There's some fantastic matches there, Dave. It's uh, the Tournament of Champions, brings in about 150 pro players. We're close to 100, 100 here. 300 in all. And Edwards sending it right into Namu. Yeah, I think Lisa's probably going to want to find a way to return that favor. Lisa Namu, by the way, as you made mention too, she won 
gold in Naples back in April. A senior mixed doubles gold. The U.S. Open. So 2-2-1. Two, two, Another look at that last point. Yeah, these ladies are coming out firing right away, Mark. Yeah, we've seen that in a few of the matches today where, um, you know, in these conditions, the the wind is hardly blowing at all right now. This is a great opportunity to start to hit hard. Players are looking for any ball that's elevated just a little bit, and that's a ball they're going to take a full swing and see if they can either uh, hit an outright winner or more likely hit the ball well enough that it creates a, a pop-up that they can then pounce on and put away. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And now serve will go back to the other side. Yeah, I think one of the things to think about is that pickleball is not um, inherently a slow game, right? And when you see top players play slow balls, it's not because it's the right way to play. It's, it's an intelligent shot to a low ball. So if I receive a ball down below net level and I have to hit up, well, if I hit it with any speed, it's either going to go out or it's going to be attackable. So when you receive a ball below net level, like you just saw Kim Jade receive there, um, that's a good time to play a dink, a slow, low ball that maybe doesn't win you the point outright, but puts your opponents in a position where they can't do much damage. And then you can look for something high you can pounce on. That was some nice network by Kim Jade. You're seeing Lisa do some of that, uh, what you had referenced earlier, Mark, in some of our other matches, that third shot drive seems to be kind of the theme here on this court today. That's a good point. Yeah, I think especially early on, what players will do is they'll test each other out and they're gonna, they're gonna try to answer a question. When I hit hard, can my opponents handle it? And if I hit hard and they can't handle it, they either miss outright or they pop up something, then it's a good strategy for us to continue to hit hard. If, however, we hit that third shot fast and they do handle it well, playing a ball that we can't attack or even hitting a winner, then we know that, well, at least for now, the fast game is probably not in the cards. So you'll see them test it early on and, uh, and then develop the rest of their game strategy based on those early observations. Unforced error there. So Edwards with the serve and 3-3-1 three, three, now. Or excuse me, 2-3-2. Three, three, uh, two, three, two after the side out. So I think the thing right now that Stefanovic and Namu would be noticing is that Edwards seems to get caught a little bit off guard when that fastball comes, especially if it's, off, if it's down low to her. So I expect you're going to see more balls coming to Vivian. She's a lefty, so if you play it out wide, you can get it to her back end. It is only 3-2-1, a slight advantage here. And now it's 3-2-2. Three, two, two. Namu and Stefanovic with the 3-2 lead. Tell you what, this Las Vegas tournament is terrific. The one thing that they will need to add, and hopefully they'll add it overnight, we'll have it tomorrow. They need to add a just a, a little scoreboard in the championship court area for the fans to be able to stay on top of in a visual aspect. Yeah, yeah I, I know that there was a, someone that has one that, that was running around here, hopefully still around, something we could get added here tomorrow. I think one of the reasons why you often don't see it, or more often than not, Dave, you don't see it, is because um, the only person who would take care of that scoreboard would be the referee. And the referee really has her hands full. She's keeping track of the score. She's making sure that the players are in the correct position, that it's the right serving rotation. She's also got to make sure that she's watching for non-volley zone violations. And so there's really a lot going on um, right now. And, and to add that other element um, of doing the score uh, gives her one more thing. But I think you're right, as we see pickleball continue to grow into the mainstream and people who don't necessarily know how to follow the score on their own, I think you're going to start to see more and more tournaments where they have exactly what you said, some way for an outside observer uh, to know very quickly what the score is and who uh, is serving. That's why we have a scoreboard on the stream. That's right. So I'd like to just do a shout out. I, I don't know if anyone, if this was caught on camera, but uh, Stefanovic just threw the ball 
uh, baseball style across the net to her opponents. And that is the best throw I've seen from a, <laughs> <laughs> a person, male or female, in a long time. How about that put away by Edwards? Yeah, Vivian's got a lot of power and anything. And in this game, anything you get up high, somebody's going to punch it back at you pretty hard. But uh, she's got some quick hands. Yeah, and Kim Jade just going for an offensive lob there. What she's trying to do is get the ball up high, deep, get her opponents off that kitchen line, put her in a better position to get a side out or get a point. Edwards into the net. Early on, uh, speaking of Edwards into the net, we've, that's now seven unforced errors already for Edwards and Jade. And so the fact that they're, uh, they have a small lead here, um, you know, I think if they keep making uh, unforced errors the way that they are, uh, they're not going to continue to have that lead for much longer. Yeah, so there's going to be a timeout here. It's 6-4-2, Jade and Edwards. Yeah, 6-4-2 with the timeout taken here on the court. We will take a break as well. Back to Las Vegas in a moment. The Las Vegas Pickleball Open is brought to you by the Plaza Hotel and Casino, the place to be downtown, Miller Lite, and by Highlands. Back at 1 Main Street, Las Vegas, Nevada, the Plaza Pool was remodeled in 109 days, 70,000 square feet, a facelift for a hotel that was originally opened in 1972. Prior to that, it was actually the first train station in Las Vegas, Nevada, which was constructed in 1906. And the side out here, this hotel has been a part of many Hollywood movies, television shows. It, it was used uh, as the structure, uh, the base structure for Biff Tannen's Pleasure Paradise Casino and Hotel and Back to the Future Part Two. Oh, very interesting. I loved walking around the hotel. They've got all kinds of pictures from, you know, back in the 70s. And there was an original pool that looked straight down Fremont Street and uh, just... You can just almost feel the history everywhere you walk around here. It's pretty neat. So it's actually Namu and Stefanovic up 6-4 against Jade and Edwards. Jade hits it long. And now an opportunity for Namu and Stefanovic to add to their lead, 6-4-1. That sun continuing to creep more and more onto the court. Yeah, and I would imagine that's got to be a factor for Jade and Edwards here. I mean, you can see, you can see, especially Kim, really having to squint to try to see the ball. And that sun will continue to creep on in, in the entire court. Speaking of Edwards, we have a, a friend, our statistician today is Chad Edwards, no relation to Vivian. And uh, Chad tells me right now that uh, on third shot attempts, Edwards and Jade, uh, five third shot drop attempts to six third shot drives, whereas Namu and Stefanovic, that's 15 third shot drops compared to just one third shot drive. And that winner makes it 8-4-2 now, 8-4-2. Namor Stefanovic three points away from taking game one in this best of three. Yeah, Chad, thank you for being here with us, doing a wonderful job. Chad working his way through some technical difficulties as well. The headset went down, but he is persevering. Yeah. <laughs> Edwards into the net. Getting a lot of love from the truck after mentioning that the uh, headset oh. issue. I know. I think I just heard they say they were going to bring you dinner. Lobster. <laughs> That's what I heard. Wow. Five, eight, Four, eight. The score here is Edwards and Jade needing a little rally to get back into this game. 
Oh, that was a really, <laughs> really, really nice lob uh, there. Jade kind of hung Edwards out to dry there. Didn't she realize she couldn't get it and yelled you at the last second? There wasn't a lot that Vivian could do with that one. No, it was a great offensive lob by Yaz. She saw the right opportunity to take it, and she did, and it was effective. 8-5-1, now 8-5-2. So one of the things to watch here is uh, Jade and Vivian Evers are now doing a little more switching. Let's see where they, if they could play straight up or if they switch sides here after the return. Look, there's the switch. So this is something that we see players uh, do instead of stacking. They will sometimes switch in the middle of the point after the return of service hit, and they will sometimes stay. And the reason they do that is when, uh, when their opponents are targeting one player or another, by switching and staying sort of by mixing it up, it gives the team hitting that third shot something else to worry about. Not just the shot they have to hit, but whether their opponents have played straight up or whether they've switched sides. 5-9-1. That all started with Lisa Namu handling Kim Jade's, she played a solid third shot drive, it was low, but Namu, Namu's backhand volley was good there. It made Vivian Edwards move off the court and uh, she couldn't hit a high quality shot. And the net ball in favor of Edwards and Jade. So 6-9-2. You get the feeling though that Namu and Stefanovic have been the aggressors. It feels like Jade and Edwards have been on defense this entire match. Yeah, it certainly, it certainly have felt that way. I mean, Lisa and Yaz have been very aggressive, very aggressive getting on the line. Um, no, we're not seeing a lot of dinking in this game, Mark. It's more just a lot of, a lot of power and reaction. Well, that, that's true once they're up at the line. But uh, as Chad Edwards tells us, um, there's only been one third shot drive from Namu and Stefanovic. So they're getting up to the line with a soft ball like we see. That's maybe well, that's a borderline drive. But you're right. Once they get up close, they're the ones who are initiating the play. They're the ones hitting faster. And we've already got 12 unforced errors from Edwards and Jade. So Do you think that side of the court that they're on with the sun is playing any factor in that? Well, it's not just the fact of the sun. Players are used to playing in sun. Where this gets difficult is that you get a transition between sun and shade. And having the ball come through there. Baseball fans will be familiar with this um, when they see the batters where the ball has to travel from the pitcher's hand to the plate. You see way fewer hits, way more strikeouts because that change in, uh, in the amount of sun and shade, that's what causes the trouble. Yeah, when it's coming from the sun into the shade, that's, that's when you have the issue in Major League Baseball. Of course, in about another 20, 30 minutes, I think the entire court is going to be in the sun, so no one will have an advantage. Maybe even us, too. And the way this, the way this match is going, they may still be playing this match in 20 or 30 minutes. Because this has been, compared to the other matches we've seen today, this has been by far and away the slowest moving of the four. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, both of the other matches might have been over and the time it's taken this game one to, to still still be but underway. You here. know what that says is that this has been the most competitive and the most even yeah. of the matches we've seen so far today. Yeah, absolutely. So it's 9-7-1, Namu and Stefanovic are up and serving. Okay, and there she was. She, she, I think that's what an opportunity she took to throw that ball up because she knows that the, the sun is directly in her eyes, and it was a great lob. Yeah. What is I, think th I think that combined with the fact that last time that they lobbed it, um, there was some miscommunication between Edward and Jade about who was going to take it. Mm -hmm. So, And there it was. That's game point as the return was long. So 11-7, Namu and Stefanovic, they will have an opportunity to try and move on to the finals. In game number two, we'll be back with game number two. Here from the pool deck of the Plaza Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada after this quick timeout. The Las Vegas Pickleball Open is brought to you by the Plaza Hotel and Casino, the place to be downtown. Miller Light and by Head. Back here in Las Vegas, the Plaza Hotel and Casino bills itself as the place to be downtown, and it's easy to understand why. Opened in the early 70s, a grand reopening in 2011. Over 80,000 square feet of gaming space. The only bingo room in downtown Las Vegas, and it also boasts the largest ballroom in downtown Las Vegas. 
It also boasts the only rooftop pickleball court in Las Vegas. Yeah, and it's great to be here. I mean, I don't know if viewers can see, but the rooms actually look oh, down man. onto the courts. So great if you're not out here playing, you can be viewing pickleball anytime. D Dave, I don't know if you know this, but Melissa McCurley is a bingo specialist. She is. <laughs> She's not so good at the other gambling games, but bingo, you should see this woman play. She's unbelievable the way she uses that dabber. <laughs> I had to explain to one of the millennials today what a dabber was. I told him, don't worry about it. You won't need it for a few years. <laughs> that was a well-placed lob shot as Jade was unable to catch up with it. Zero one one. That's a side out. Players have just switched sides, so that means that Stefanovic and Namur are in the sun, Jade and Edwards in the shade. And we did see on the very first point when Stefanovic tried to return serve, she almost missed the ball completely. And I think that that uh, might take them a minute to get used to uh, the different amount of light that they're now dealing with. Uh -huh. Not there. Yeah, yeah, not there. She just stepped right in and drove that. Yeah, that shot seemed like it kind of froze Vivian Edwards. Yeah. You know, you don't often expect players um, to hit hard backhand volleys. And um, I, I think it's fair to say, especially the women. That's why you see so many women use two-handed backhands. And so with Stefanovic there, that ball was kind of low. It was on her backhand. She was still moving. I think she, she surprised Jade and Edwards with how much pace she was able to generate. Edwards tried to place that last shot and misfired. So, you know, talking a little bit more about the plaza, I mean, we have a pool that's up here. There's live entertainment up here. There's a bar. There's food and gambling right up here, right all right next to the pickleball courts. It's it's really a special place. I know it's been quite enjoyable for all to be here all week. Are, uh, are the three of us allowed to gamble on these matches? Well, so in the, the, contract? The, the matches are not on the sports book here in Las Vegas. Not this year, but I did speak with Grant Garcia, the director of the Las Vegas Pickleball Open, and he said, you know, next year, maybe that's something that they'll discuss, whether or not they will take wagering on the matches. Why not? You're in Las Vegas. Nothing's more Las Vegas than being able to come here and place a wager on sports. What do you think the over or under is on Edwards and Jade coming back and winning <laughs> game two? <laughs> I think we'd need a, an official handicapper yeah. here. Yeah. Right now, the odds are not looking good for them down in a hole here in game two. Although Edwards, as I say that, with a strong shot. Yeah. So Edwards and Jade are stacking when they're serving. So now that they're playing straight up, now because they have an even score, they'll play straight up. When they have an odd score, they'll both have themselves on the same side of the court. Edwards unable to get there. So, uh, so Dave, I'd like viewers to watch. Watch Kim Jade in the red put her hand behind her back here. And see how she's got a closed fist? That means she's not going to go across the court. She's going to stay put. And so when Evie, Vivian Edwards returns, they're going to come straight up, and then they play that way. And that's a hand signal that they're giving oh. to their partner who's returning serve to know whether they're going to switch sides after the return is hit or stay. Yeah, and there was a little miscommunication there by Kim and Vivian. I think... Uh, Kim thought Vivian was going to actually jump up with that backhand and try to stab mm. it back down, and they just floated past both of them. Yeah, you could see the frustration on Kim's face. As she was caught by surprise having to take a shot at that. There's that hard backhand again from Stefanovic, two in a row. That's a real weapon for her. A real weapon. I mean, and she's on the move when she's doing it. It's not like there's any sort of split step or anything no, like that. She's well, running I mean, through it. Yeah, the split step happens before, but I'd actually say there's an advantage here because not only is she generating the speed with her backhand, she's also moving into the ball to create some momentum. Edwards and Jade decide they need a timeout in a serious hole here in game number two of the winner's bracket final for the senior women. The Las Vegas Pickleball Open is brought to you by the Plaza Hotel and Casino, the place to be downtown, Miller Lite, and by Highlands. At Las Vegas, a sight to be seen no matter the time of year. We showed you the 4th of July earlier, St. Patrick's Day. It was a good time to be here in Vegas. Really never a bad time to be here in Vegas as Edwards sits it long and unable to keep it in the court. So 7-2-1 as Namo and Stefanovic four points away from moving on to the final. 
was that backhand again. Make All day long she's one. going with that. Eight, two, one. I'd like to give a shout out to the Pickleball Channel, Rusty Howes and his team. Been here all week and been uh, been a real staple in the pickleball world. They really have, and they've done such a great job of promoting the sport, covering the sport, and they, no matter the tournament, they're there, and uh, you, you can find all things pickleball on the Pickleball Channel. Absolutely, 411, quick tips. Just little updates around what's going on with the game. And what's really, uh, what I really enjoy is some of the stories that they do on people that have had a real um, impact on the world of pickleball. Just a great job, Pickleball Channel. 2-8-2 two, two, our score here in game number two. And the side out after Namu and Stefanovic. Stefanovic, the beneficiaries of the netball. And just got an update, too, that uh, today's broadcast has gotten to 15,000 people. Wow. Yeah, which means Facebook has put the live feed in 15,000 people's news feeds, which is great. So we've had a lot of viewership here this afternoon. Thank you to all of you who are watching around the country, around the world. Here in the inaugural Las Vegas Pickleball Open, Dave Benz, Melissa McCurley, and Mark Renison along with you. You can also watch this stream on RU Live, the letter R, the letter U, live.com. So, so a few options for watching the live stream. We will also be on the air again tomorrow here from Las Vegas. They would have already had you been watching the live stream. <laughs> Point here makes it 3 8. So it'll be interesting to see here if Edwards and Jade can score a few quick points. <laughs> 4 8 1, Edwards and Jade trying to mount a rally. 5-8-1, the gap is closing. Yeah, let's see if they keep going with that. There's this timeout taken. Stefanovic and Namu want to gather their thoughts and make sure they don't let this slip away. We'll take a quick break as well. Back with more from the women's senior bracket final after this quick timeout. The Las Vegas Pickleball Open is brought to you by the Plaza Hotel and Casino, the place to be downtown, and by Miller Lite. And Franklin, the X40, the official ball of the Las Vegas Pickleball Open. Welcome back to Las Vegas. The Plaza Hotel and Casino really has added to the skyline here in Vegas with the addition of three separate murals. And this one, Shepard Ferry, the street artist, brought his imagery to downtown. A piece entitled Cultivate Harmony was what you were seeing the time lapse of there. Very nice. I know when we've taken pictures with the big mural there behind those bleachers, it turns out really well. It's very, very colorful. So yeah, quite the one, a standout. The one behind the bleachers is D-Face. And they all have distinct names. They all have distinctive looks, but they all flow beautifully together. Yeah, but is that just Something to be seen here at the Plaza Hotel and Casino, that's for sure. Yeah, very, very nice. It's a, it's a great place to stay. I'm actually staying here at the hotel. All the rooms are nice and renovated and just very comfortable. The staff here, very pleasant. It has been a nice stay. It's been a great tournament thus far. It really has. I mean, I've had people stopping me all week long just talking about how great of a time they've had here in Las Vegas and just how wonderful they felt that the competition was. And Jade with a strong yeah, shot there. Do you see that? Yeah, red. that was with some authority there, wasn't it? So 9-5-2. Jade played volleyball for UCLA. National champion. All around great lady too. Jade was a silver medal winner at the 2018 US Open and senior mixed. 
So 10-5-2 now, match points. And staying alive is Edwards, sits it into Stefanovic. Yeah, so Vivian said not quite yet. Work to do though, down in a 5-10, one hole. And Mark, I would imagine that the mindset in this situation is you just trying to, to stay alive one point at a time. Yeah, and I mean, I like seeing that Jade is still hitting that serve hard. Uh, she got a free point, her last one from Stefanovic. No. Um, you I mean, you can't, you can't go for too much, but you can't totally step on the brakes either. So um, we'll see if they can get one or two more here to stay in the match. I've been really impressed with Yas Stevanovic and just her, her vision and her execution. Uh, I haven't had a chance to see her play very often, but uh, she has shown a lot of skill here. Uh, yeah, her, her backhand uh, in general and backhand volley in particular has been uh, one of the better ones I've seen for sure amongst the senior pro women. Yeah, and just a couple of, of points ago, it, she noticed that Vivian had pulled a little bit too far into the center of the court, and she sent her dink out wide cross court, and Vivian couldn't get there. Just really impressive. So they break Stefanovic, and now Namu with a chance to serve for the match. And there it is, double break. They'll get a chance to stay alive here, down 6-10-1. Yeah. Let's see if Lisa and or, uh, Kim Jade and Vivian Edwards see if they can do anything with this opportunity. They just lost the first chance there. They got a second serve. It'd be six ten two. Kim Jade will be serving to Lisa Namu. Okay, the seven ten two. So mm -hmm. Melissa, take a look at this. Watch seven, when yeah. Vivian Edwards in the black serves uh, when it's her turn to serve. Even when her partner Jade yeah. serves, look how she moves forward into the court like this. Mm. And I think that's pretty risky strategy. Yeah, that's very risky. It's kind of like when we were talking about earlier, Mark, how the partners were going together, right? Yeah. Uh, and Vivian, she she doesn't. She's yeah. going on her own. I mean, if the return of serve is short or a medium distance, you might get away with it. But with a deep return, you're going to be in trouble. It's Vivian's serve. She's giving the ball. So back to Stefanovic now, 10-7-1, mm -hmm. serving for the match. But Jade with the winner. Bobby Fumi on Facebook wanting to know who is broadcasting alongside Melissa McCurley. It's Mark Rennison of Third Shot Sports. And my name is Dave Benz. And we've got another timeout. Yeah. 10 7 in favor of Namo and Stefanovic. Possible match point coming up. We'll take a break. Back to Las Vegas in a moment. The Las Vegas Pickleball Open is brought to you by the Plaza Hotel and Casino, the place to be downtown, Miller Lite, and by Highlands. Back live in Vegas, Namu serving for the match. Edwards and Jade trying to get the serve back and stay alive, and Edwards with an impressive shot. And indeed, they will get the serve. Chance to live another day. Okay, so watch here, Melissa. We were talking about it before, right? Edwards' tendency to go inside the baseline after the surface hit. There's that deep return, and so now she has to hit off the back foot, which generally is not the preferred position to be in. Mm -hmm. You'll see it even more pronounced when she's the server here. 7-10-2. Yeah, and there's a let. We've seen two of those here on center court today. And so the ball hit the net, but it traveled beyond the kitchen line. So she gets a second serve. Had the ball hit the net and landed into the kitchen, that would have been a fault. She would have lost the serve. 
Side out, so back over to Namu and Stefanovic. Again, an opportunity to serve for the match. Shelly Johnson chiming in on Facebook saying that she wishes she could be playing, but it's only 45 degrees in Wisconsin. Oh, Jesus, I would move. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. nearly double that here in Las Vegas right now. Yeah, in fact, we get a temperature gauge on the top of the hotel over there. What is that, 98? But it's certainly not that here in the shade where we're at. Just 92. <laughs> hey, that's, fine. that's cool, I need a jacket at 92. So comfortable. Well, credit Edwards and Jade here, guys. They, they've hung tough with their backs against the wall in this second game. But yeah, there it is. is. There's the winner and the match <laughs> going to Namu and Stefanovic. So they move on to the final. And Jaden Edwards going to the opportunity bracket. Look at match point. Yeah, this is something they did regularly throughout the match is go hard at one player, then hard at another. If your opponents can't handle the speed, hitting hard makes a lot of sense, and they did it very effectively. Uh, Namu and Stefanovic moving on. You see them reacting to the heat. We'll hear from them coming up from Las Vegas. Back on championship court here in Las Vegas. Shia Stefanovic and Lisa Naumu have uh, moved on to the finals. So congratulations, ladies. And we were making uh, note during the broadcast of the sun and the shade, and it kind of came into play in the middle of your match. I'm sure that made things a little bit difficult. It was difficult on a sunny side because the sun is coming from the side and the angle is really weird, so you don't know if you should wear glasses or not. Uh, especially on the higher balls, you completely lost them in the air. So it was quite quite a challenge, actually. Yeah, yeah. And, and the heat, a little bit of a factor as well. The thermometer behind us saying it's 98 degrees. Were, were you feeling it a little bit? I was feeling it. I, I have to continually drink and, and towel off and, and uh, stay cool hydrated, off, yeah. cool off, yeah, yeah. constantly today. Yeah. Well, the good news is that you're in the finals now, so you don't have to go into the loser's bracket or the opportunity yeah. bracket. Uh, overall, so far, your impressions of this tournament here in Vegas? Um, it's been actually a great tournament for me. Uh, first time here, uh, first time playing with my partner here, so it's been... Uh, it's been a little bit getting used to the environment, uh, but I love it, actually, and I'll be probably back next year. Well, I didn't know this was your first time as playing partners. How difficult is that to transition with a new partner? Uh, well, we have to, we have different tendencies, so we ca had to work it out on the court. We start off kind of shaky, yeah. but then we worked it out. Yeah. Um, and we're from the desert, from Palm Desert, so we're, it, we can acclimate, and we, we train, and we kind of drill also yeah. so we just had to get over the nervousness and the all the stuff around the us yeah yeah, yeah. Right. the nervousness of first match was kind of there so once we kind of went over that it was a little bit easier yeah. well uh, the good news is you've made it just about to the finals uh, to the final hurdle you got one more to go and hopefully you'll be taking home a gold medal but congratulations on reaching the final and uh, we'll see you a little bit later thank you thank all you, right thanks. ladies congratulations and we are going to take another time out but our coverage come from las vegas continues after this time out the men's championship coming your way next from sin city